Hello, and welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. And today we're gonna to be talking about some more terminology that's kind of confusing to people. Um, and this little tidbit um, was something that I just kind of assumed that, you know, other people knew until somebody asked me and I was trying to explain it. And so I'm gonna explain it here for you right now. And that is the term long grain or short grain. And no, we're not talking about rice. Uh, this has to do with the fiber alignment of um, your fine artist papers. So let's imagine, if you will, this is a cute little block, that this is our mold. And as it's being run through the paper slurry, la, 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 like this, and the fibers are gathering in the mold, they run through this direction, and so all the fibers would collect in this direction. So when the fibers are parallel to the long length of the paper, that's what's defined as long grain. If it were that the mold was running this way and therefore the paper was cut like this, and you had the fiber aligning this direction, that would mean that you have, when the fiber runs this direction on the short edge, parallel to the short edge, that would mean that it is short grain. Now, why would you care? Why does this matter? Well, it matters when, for instance, you're working on a larger sheet that you're then going to finish, like for book binding, or if you're going to um, bend it or cut it and stuff like this, because if you bend it against the grain, it will sometimes crack and you have an irregular line. So knowing which way, which direction the grain runs is important when you're doing those kinds of finishing applications. So uh, if you see the terms long grain or short grain when you're shopping for your art stuff next time, you'll know with confidence exactly what that means. So enjoy.